All right, guys, so part two. So last week you hopefully got this done. This week what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on this top half, which is really not gonna be so different from what we did last week because what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flip my paper. So now the bottom is the top, the top is the bottom, and I'm going to repeat those same steps where I'm coming down and bringing those arches around so they get wide and then they get really close together as they hit the sides of the tube. So I am going to finish off all of these columns and then with whatever time we have left, we are going to start working on color and shading on these. All right, so now I have kind of finished it off and I've created this illusion but what I really need is to make it look like there are these actual like bumps that go up and down and look like there are kind of these crevices or valleys in between these tubes. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to create shading in there. So you guys will have the choice to kind of do this one of two ways. You can do it in pencil if you want and kind of have the whole thing a grayscale or you can do it in color, which is gonna be a little more fun, but I know some of you guys either may just choose not to, may not have the supplies, whatever it is, either one works. You can use crayon or colored pencil. Marker will not work. Do not use marker, you cannot make it work. So I'm gonna show you both ways. I'm gonna do one tube in color and one tube in grayscale, and I'm gonna kind of show you how it's gonna be. But the biggest thing that you need to focus on is creating value and value we talked about a little earlier today and we're going to talk about it a lot more next week so this today is just where we're starting we're going to continue working on the value next week don't think we're going to get this started today 